So this is a lab view project to plot response of a second order system to a unit step input. And the response of second order system to a unit step input is represented by this equation. It has two parameters that we will be changing, which are zeta, which represents a damping coefficient, and omega n, which represent the frequency, natural resonant frequency, which is the frequency of the sinusoid. Uh, so we can change those parameters, damping coefficient, which changes, which goes from 0 to 1, and we will be using this dial to change it, and we'll be using this numeric uh, control to change the natural resonant frequency. Uh, in addition to that, we will also be calculating the peak time, uh, peak value, and peak overshoot. Uh, peak time is, of course, the time at which the peak value occur, and peak overshoot is measured. Uh, as the peak time minus the final value divided by the final value times 100%. Um, in this case, the final value or the steady state value is 1, as you can also see in the equation. So basically, peak overshoot, if you do have the graph uh, and, and you don't want to calculate it using the equation, then it is simply uh, the peak overshoot minus 1 times 100%. Um, since we are plotting the graph, we can use cursors to observe different values like peak time, peak value, and calculate peak overshoot. Uh, and those values, that is the peak time and peak value, uh, and any other value on the graph can be observed in this cursor window. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, and then, as you will see, as I'm changing the damping coefficient, my graph is changing. When the damping coefficient is smaller, peak overshoot is higher, and you will have more oscillations of the waveform. Uh, you can change the nat natural resonant frequency, and you will see that your x-axis time is changing, and also your graph is going to change accordingly. Uh, I'm plotting about um, 100 points per time constant, and I'm going for, for five time constants on my x-axis. Uh, one time constant from this equation is equal to 1 over zeta omega n. So whatever value of zeta you see over here and omega n, uh, product of that, and you take the reciprocal, that is the time constant of the system. Uh, and I'm plotting for five time constant, and each time constant I have 100 points. So I'm plotting total 500 points. Uh, usually, as you can see, it is, you know, almost one uh, by the end of five time constant. So it has settled down. The response has been pretty much settled down to a steady state value. And again, if you plot for a five time constant or six time constant, then your transients are going to be, um, uh, uh, transients are, are, are done and the steady state response is going to start. And that's the main idea to plot the complete response that um, will show the transient as well as uh, the steady state response when the transients are done. Uh, so this is a you know really neat program in LabVIEW to plot interactive second order uh, second order system response in an interactive way, such that when you change these two parameters, then the graph is going to change uh, right away, and then you can observe all the values on the graph using cursors and also calculate those values, important parameters uh, using the uh, equations.